Hey guys, I'm IcelTPW and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Showcase. Guys, welcome back and welcome to another mod showcase today we're gonna to be showing you how to use journey map if you remember last Tuesday I did a tutorial on how to download and install journey map well it's much your guest Monday so today we show you how to use it and get the best out of journey map so what is journey map mod well, journey map mod is a mod that enables you to bring a mini map and a major map into Minecraft which is very useful when you're trying to navigate the world of Minecraft, especially if you set up a base. The first thing you'll notice is the mini map on my screen. And that's the first thing we're gonna concentrate on because this gives you a little snapshot into what's around you in Minecraft. And you can see here on the screen, we've got obviously water, we've got some land, we've got some trees, and we've got a couple of dots here as well. The red dots show that there are mobs around and the gray dots usually show that they're animals or squid or something like that, that are not harmful. It will also show up villagers if they're in the nearby vicinity also so the first thing we need to do is go into so you can get into journey map by pressing j on your keyboard and this brings up the major map but we're not going to look at this right now this is just an exploded version of that mini map and gives a wider scale and as you can see i haven't explored everything as you can see, there's a whole lot of buttons on the screen and the one that we need to do to enter into the mini map is down here in the settings, which is right down here under options. When you first go into journey map, all of these will be closed like so, and you can have two mini map presets. And when you click on them, it gives you a drop down of all of the options that are available for this. And I'm going to go through them one by one. I'm not going to spend too much time going into this because these are very self-explanatory. You can enable the mini map or you can disable the mini map and simply by enabling it, and pressing escape out of the main screen, you can see that the minimap is gone. So pressing J will bring you back in into options, enable minimap, and the minimap is now enabled again. Up here then you've got the likes of show animals. So you can show animals on the minimap. You can show caves, show a compass. So the compass gives you a north bearing, a south bearing, a west bearing, and an east bearing. It also gives you your X, Y, and Z coordinates at the bottom of the map. And it tells you what biome you're in. So we're in a beach biome right now. If you see at the top of the map as well, it's giving you a clock. So that's giving you the time of day in Minecraft as well. Show day or night gives you an option of having a it fixed during the day, it being just bright. Or when it turns night, it'll go dark. So you can switch that on or switch it off. Show entity names show grid show mob headings so it'll give you a little kind of instead of being a little circle it actually gives a, po a point right at the at the tip which shows you which uh, direction the mob is actually heading in show mobs is a very useful one they show up as red on this mini map show pets if you've got any pets in minecraft player headings the little blue dot is you and the little point at the, at the front shows you which way you're heading show players show rectangle show rectangle that's showing your crosshairs on the screen Show, show self, show villagers, show waypoint labels, show waypoints and verbose location. So waypoints, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on that, okay? Uh, but before we do, uh, you've got an info slot here. You can have uh, FPS on it. So now you can see your FPS in the top right hand side of the screen. My FPS is quite, going quite slow at the moment because I'm recording here as well. You can put in game time, you can put in system time, you can put in your location, your biome, etc. The FPS is actually quite a handy one to have. You've got four different slots here that you can add information to. So you could have FPS, game time, location, biome, etc. And you can swap these around to whatever you want. You've got your XY location and you can have your map heading uh, as north, as old north, my heading. Uh, so it can be moving around as you're moving around. I like to keep it in one fixed position because it can get a little bit disorientating when the map is changing every time you change direction. Position can be in top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left top center so just to show you where it is now once i put in top center as you can see it's right there shape as a circle you can have it as also as a square or a rectangle the map opacity if you bring this right down to 10 for example you can see that you can see right through the map now but you can't see anything on the map except for the mobs and the size for the purpose of this video i wanted to have a big map so i've changed it to 35 but you can have this as big as you want. Mine is all the way up to 80 there now, or 85. Usually when I'm uh, playing, I would normally have mine around 25 to 30. 
So it's just a little map up in the right hand corner and you can see instantly what's around you if you need to. So guys, that's pretty much it for uh, the minimap preset one. It's exactly the same in minimap preset two. So I'm going to move away from the minimaps because they're exactly the same and it's just setting them up. The next is the full screen map. And in here, this is the full screen map here. And as you can see, it gives a lot more of a, a broader picture of what's happening around you. So again, very similar to the minimap, what you can show in here is show animals, show caves, show entity names, show grid, show keys, show mob headings, show mobs, show pets, show player headings, show players, show self, show villagers, show waypoint labels, show, show waypoints and verbose location. Again, you've got your XYZ location, you've got your mob display small dots, player display small dots, user interface team, and your font scale. So that's all pretty similar to the minimap. Why is this screen really important? Because this is effectively your user interface for journey map. And in here, this is where we do have all of the buttons that pertain to minimap. And down here, you can see there's a few control uh, hotkeys on here. Over here, you've got zoom functions. And you can zoom right in. You can pull and drag the, ma the map by left clicking on the mouse and dragging it around. You can zoom in with your mouse wheel, which is very handy. You can follow, which is when it brings it right back to you, just in case you go way off the map and you don't know where you are and you can't find yourself and you can just press this back and it brings you right back to where your location is. So let's start up here at the very top. So at the very top, we've got day and night. This is what it looks like at night. And this is what happens to your little mini map when that changes. You also have topography. So you can see a scale here and how that changes. I rarely have that on. You've got cave layers. This is more so when you're underground, but it will show you the, the cave layers and the mobs that are on those cave layers. You've got show mobs, and showing mobs is obviously the red dots, and you can see they're disappearing and turning on there as I switch it on and off. Show animals, and they're turning on and off. Uh, show pets, show villagers, and you can turn off the grid as well. And then you've got your show your keys, which was the keys that are down here in the bottom right hand side which are your quick keys then down the bottom side here we have got our waypoints which i will do in one second i am going to get to waypoints you've got your options which we've been in here uh, we've got about it just information about the mod uh, user interface team so you can change the look and feel of how this looks and as you can see it's just it's effectively just changing the color and i prefer the default color which is this one reset the color palette you can delete the map you can save the map and you've got an auto map so you can start it and it can take a little bit of time depending on how fast your computer is and as you can see this is taking a little bit longer but it's now mapping the whole area that is around me that is all of the options on the mini map and on the major map except for one and that's the one I've been I've been leaving the best until last, and that is waypoints. Now, what are waypoints? Waypoints are markers that you can put on the map and that you can see in the map, but you can also see in Minecraft. Waypoint beacons, enable waypoint beacons. So what this does is when you create a death point, this is a way for you to go back and get any items that you may have dropped. Or if you've got a mod that uh, leaves a grave when you die, it's a good way to go back and actually find out where your grave is. Waypoints can then be used and beacons can be then used to find if you've found a dungeon and you want to put a marker on the map to be able to find it again. Uh, maybe to go back to your house and get equipment that you can actually go into the dungeon or just even to find your home and you can create many many waypoints that will enable you to be able to have different locations around the map so we're going to do this now and we're going to create a few waypoints we press Control b to get into the waypoint and we're going to create a new waypoint and it's creating it at the point of where i am and you can change it to whatever you want so let's call this home and it's giving you your X, Y, a Z, and Y locations. You can change the color of that beacon and, and press save. So now you can see on the mini map, it says home. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And what about on the journey map? And as you can see, it also says home here on the journey map. So what happens if we die? And we're nearly dead. And there we are, we just died. Isle TPW drowned. 
Oh, I've no idea where I am. I'm going to go back into creative and I'm going to set time set so that you can see this properly, guys. Do you see that big thing that's going into the sky there? That is our beacon. It may not be showing very well because of the shaders pack that I have. So I'm going to switch that off. So I've turned off my shaders now so you can see the beacon a little bit better. And you can see here, as I scroll over the screen here, I can see that there's my death point that says death and it's giving me 1500 meters. So I'm in creative so that we can zoom in over here and fly over here. We can also go to our map and we can see that I'm over here and my death point is over here on the map. So you can see we're zooming across here now and we're getting closer to the death point. It's 1300 meters, so I'll be right back once I get closer here, guys. So we're just coming up now on the death point and we're coming up on our home point as well. So let me come all of the way down here and we can see the two beacons shooting way up into the sky. One is our dead point. Can't really see there against the sand. There's our dead point. It tells us what time we died at, the date, and how far away it is. So it's now just a few meters away. And here is our home point, which is just a few meters away. That can be really handy when you die very far away from home and you want to find out where your items are and you want to go back and collect your items. Then to manage your waypoints, press Control B and that will bring you into the manage waypoints window. And you can see here, you can actually teleport uh, if you're in creative towards your dead point or your home point. You can find it or you can remove it. So I'm just gonna remove the dead point here. And you can see now the dead point is gone. We can also remove the home point. So press remove and you can see that the home point just disappeared. Going back into options, you can enable waypoints or turn them off depending on whether you want them or not because they will stay there forever unless you do remove them or unless you turn off waypoints. So guys, that's it for this mod showcase of Journey Map Mod. I really hope that I went through all of the points that are, are valid and that could be useful for you. If you have any questions about Journey Map Mod, then leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this. If you enjoyed this video, then it would be awesome if you left a like in the video. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more of these mod showcases and any of my tutorials and any of our, my other challenge games or Bed Wars, then why not hit that subscribe button? I do a live stream every Saturday of Bed Wars. And guys, thank you very much for watching this. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I really hope that you found it useful. And we'll see you in the next video, in the next Mod Showcase. I'm Isil TPW, and thank you for watching. Bye!